Hi folks, George the DJ here, and here's a quick review on the Rock and Roller R12 Stealth DJ Cart. Now what makes it stealth? Well, it's the black wheels. I thought it was pretty cool. Actually, they didn't have the yellow ones in stock, but I do like the black. It's only about $10 more. The R12, uh, it has the little heavier duty wheels, bigger wheels in the front, and uh, expands to use for about uh, 50 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. It shouldn't take too long. It looks like just putting the wheels on here and we should be ready to go. And then I'm gonna show you the difference between this cart and the cart I've been using for 20 or close to 30 years. So I always try to be honest in my reviews, a little frustrating. Cart came, eh, a little scratched up. One of the grommets that goes, I guess it'll be on the other side of the wheels, just for show, is broken. And now I'm finding out that this hole right here is not lined up like it's supposed to be. I'm gonna have to get a drill or something to get it in, it won't go all the way through. A little frustrating. This side went in fine, all the other wheels in, went in fine. But again, just craftsmanship. A little disappointing to be honest. So after about 10 minutes of using a mallet and trying not to use a drill, I was able to get it in. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy together and see how it works. So I mentioned I'd show you what I've been using for 20 or 30 years. I guess, to be honest, this one right here, I've only had three or four years, but I use a similar model. Uh, it's basically a hand truck that can be converted into a cart. I bought this one because of the little plastic coating over here so it wouldn't scratch up my material. I have another one that's red, same size little smaller wheels, but this one's been doing fine for me. But I wanted something that would carry a little more equipment and maybe be a little more heavy duty and easier to fold up. So a lot of different models here. I actually have the Rock and Roller Multi-Cart R12. Instead of the normal yellow wheels, the Stealth gives you the black. Oh yeah, and I have brakes this time. So as you can see, I haven't uh, expanded it yet. But in the state it's in right now, it's a little shorter than my last cart. But once you go ahead and pop both ends up, now I also have rails on either end that should help hold equipment in. It's a lot easier to convert. You just pull on these little handles right here, and that allows it to go down or up. Just a spring tension there. And you would probably, you don't have to turn on the side. I just wanted to show you these little screws right here. You loosen those up and then you can pull this out to whatever length you want. If you pull it out to the longest length, which again, is about 50 inches and screw this back in, it actually clicks for you in place. So now let's look at the two side by side. Higher rails, a little wider cart too, by the way, a few inches wider bigger um, front tires, or I don't know if that's rear, the bigger tires on one side, and about the same size, but a little wider here, better for uh, going on gravel. And then look at the length there. Uh, compared to the other cart that I had, it's uh, about another 12 inches. One additional thing I like is on this end, this is like a little grip tape or something. Uh, so that's going to help things not slide around. So when you finish, you simply lock, unlock, I should say, these screws. Press the little button here. Everything compacts back down. Tighten the screws up and you are ready to go. All right, and then to fold the uh, rails down, start with the big tires. Simply pull on your handle here, pull all the way up. 
Let that side down. Do the same for the other side. And your car is ready to put in your truck or SUV. said it was uh, easy and simple to figure out how to put everything on there. Uh, I probably took about an hour trying to figure out where to lay things, what would fit nice and tight. I've expanded the card as far as it will open. That way when I get to a show, it's just expanding and I'll have to remember a measurement. And I've got my controller, my two EV speakers, um, the two top parts. I've got my uh, Let's see, on the top here I've got my facade, and I've even got, if I can twist it around for you, I've even got my uh, headphone bag here, and I actually put the headphones out, because if you're like me, you're always uh, pushing those against something and breaking the headphones. And of course the uh, ED tops are under here. So this pretty much will roll in without even being tied down, but if I need to, I do have a way to do that. Um, I simply just hook this underneath. Um, sure there's already sort of measured it out, but there's a place underneath you can hook it. Just run it across. And, uh, and I just try to put it somewhere where everything has sort of got a little bit of tension on it and holding things in place. It's pretty nice to be able to come in in one trip. Again, thinking about the length of everything, so things, you know, gravity take, doesn't take over and things roll off. Um, I always try to push with the little wheels first or pull with the little wheels. And again, I do have a brake. So uh, this is my setup. And then again, like I say, I can break it down even smaller uh, without the facade, without the lights. whatever I need to do. I'm Georgia DJ, as always, thanks for watching.